Digging straight down, exploring shipwrecks or simply having sticky fingers are just some of the ways to get diamonds. Allow us to share 27 more. Mine shafts do have the work for you. Having to find one might be a bit difficult sometimes, but once you do, skeletons, creepers and cave spiders will be inhabiting these empty holes, so you'll have to get rid of them before you can peacefully fill your inventory with these diamonds. Elytra is not the only thing and cities hold. Even if they don't have a flying ship in them, they can still have chests filled with goodies. From enchanted diamond armor and tools to raw diamonds. Exploring these is sure to make your friends jealous at the amount of diamonds you will have. The high seas are calling to you not just to sail them, but to explore the shipwrecks below the waves. All of these vessels that met their end at the bottom of the ocean have loot in them. If you're looking for diamonds, you want to find the shipwrecks that have a captain's cabin. They are sure to have iron, gold and even diamonds in them along with a map. The map you find in a shipwreck is basically three diamonds. It will take you on an adventure sometimes across huge parts of the world until you find the axe. Once you do, buried in the sand or the gravel is the chest, holding what you've been searching for. Diamonds. Another ruin yielding free diamonds for you to claim as your own are bastions. There are multiple different types, but every one of them has a treasure chest with piglins most valuable loot. Diamonds and diamond gear is sure to be found in these deep parts of the nether. You better have a good aim, because you don't want to miss the water when jumping down into the ravine. Because of this update, diamonds are easier to find in open spaces. Just make sure you have a way of getting back up to the surface, you don't want to get stuck below ground with all of those diamonds. Who needs mine shafts when you can mine for yourself? Get down to Y-54, make a large tunnel and then branch off in either direction. This is called strip mining. The way I like to do it is leave two blocks between tunnels for maximum efficiency. This way, you're sure to hit the diamonds sooner or later. If you plan to beat Minecraft, this is the place you need to find, Nether Fortress. Sure, it's dangerous and sometimes super hard to find, but hallways are full of chests. And do you know what these chests hold? Yep, that's right, blue gems known as diamonds and even diamond horse armor. If you are old school, what would you say? Y11 or Y12? Comment below if you know what we mean. Recently, however, best level for mining diamonds is between Y-51 and Y-57. Whether it's strip mining or cave exploration, this is the fastest way to get rich. Just be careful of baddies and lava. If you thought strip mining was good, wait till you try this. There is an easy way to get diamonds and to save half of your pickaxe durability doing it. The only thing that you'll need is a trapdoor. Get to the spot you want to dig and enter a prone position using a trapdoor. That way, you only go through half of the blocks while still getting the benefits of strip mining. Minecraft world is loaded in chunks and we can use that to our advantage. You see, every chunk has a number of different ore blocks located within. That means that you're certain to find some diamonds within its borders. Press F3 and G to show chunk borders and mine exactly at the edge. This way you have double the chances and double the amount of diamonds you can find. You see, sometimes the simplest methods are the most effective. So here's the deal, dig straight down. Diamonds are often found in the layers just above bedrock, so keep your eyes peeled and your pickaxe ready. One unconventional yet thrilling method is to, well, steal from your friends. I mean, if you stay undetected, it won't even count as stealing, right? Just remember, the best loot is often found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes those places are your friends' chests. One way to acquire diamonds is by, shall we say, borrowing them from the village folk. Now I'm not advocating theft, but let's just say that these villagers can afford to lose a few diamonds, right? Another exciting way to discover these precious gems is by venturing into ancient pyramids. These mysterious structures often hide secret chambers filled with diamonds, just waiting to be discovered. Just be careful, because there are traps. Explore the Stronghold's libraries. There is a hidden chest where you can find these shiny gems. Zombie spawners can sometimes be your best friend in this adventure. Here's the deal. 
These undead creatures often hang out near a chest filled with diamonds. Now I know it sounds too good to be true, but trust me, it's a real thing. Have you ever dared to venture into a mysterious ancient city? These scary places often hold chests filled with precious diamonds. Just watch your step because there is a mysterious creature lurking beneath the ground. I've got a juicy little secret for you. The cold ocean biome, with its icy tundras and frosty waves, seems to have a special knack for producing more diamonds than other biomes. You'll need to dive deep into the ocean floor, but trust me, the reward of unearthing those sparkly treasures will make it all worthwhile. Sometimes diamonds will be in places we can't see. You see, right under the pool of lava you can find diamonds that no one has ever seen before. All you need is to put ice on the lava so you can actually see through it. Moss blocks are super useful and here is why. They break super easily and they turn other stone-like blocks into more moss. All except ores. Do you see where I'm going with this? This way, you will spend less time mining through tough stone blocks and breeze through moss, finding only ores intact and diamonds ready to be harvested. If you find yourself in an ancient city vicinity, you will find skulk blocks and those are real easy to break as well, allowing you to quickly peel off that layer and see if there's any diamonds hiding from your sight. Just be careful of shriekers, you don't want the warden joining your expedition. Diamonds are found in larger quantities completely underground. Well, technically water counts as a block as well and if you find a submerged ravine, it's sure to be filled with huge amounts of diamonds. Just be sure to get yourself enough oxygen. What's better than two eyes looking out for diamonds? Four eyes. Enlist the help of your friend and gather up twice as much diamonds in half the time. Fossils. Although incredibly rare, if you do manage to find one in the wild, you better start digging around it, because diamonds are often found around there somewhere. There is a simple way of digging deep that we still have not covered, and it may involve some booms. Make yourself a TNT cannon and blow your way down to the desired level so you can uncover diamonds. Best way to acquire diamonds and diamond gear is to have somebody else do it for you. Why not enlist the help of an armorer? He will have diamond gear for sale and will even enchant it for you. And if you feel like he isn't giving you a fair price, expose him to some zombies and then cure him. The prices will be much friendlier. Let's be honest, nobody does archaeology for money, it's all about fame and recognition. However, if you happen to stumble upon a ruin in the sand, you might want to grab yourself a brush. You see, suspicious sand has a chance of containing diamond in it as well. You never know, maybe the next excavation is the one to make you rich. Pirates love treasure, and what is more precious than diamonds? What do you do if you've managed to scavenge every shipwreck there is, but you still want more? Well, lucky for you, the overworld isn't the only place where you'll find ships. Search the end. Those ships may very well have belonged to space pirates, but now they belong to you. If you're just not able to apply any of the above mentioned ways of acquiring diamonds for whatever reason, there is still that one way, the morally questionable way. Taking your friend's pet as a hostage and demanding ransom diamonds. Well, let's hope you don't have to use the last one, but if you like the video, let us know and subscribe to the channel. Share and like this video as well, it's the best way to support us.